What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of Draft to Glory. I hadn't planned on uploading a Draft to Glory today, um, but after yesterday's performance where we went out in the first round, I kind of just need to redeem myself. So today I've got my try-hard glasses on and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do it live. Usually I don't do it live um, I, unless I'm with like AA or unless I live stream it. Um, but I seem to just do better when I'm live and the whole point of me not doing it was live was so that I could focus on the game more doesn't seem to work. So we're going to do it live. Uh, the video that was going to upload today was going to be a Foot Galaxy video. That will be up later on uh, today, um, probably about 4am UK time. So if you do enjoy Foot Galaxy, check that out a little bit later on in the day. If you don't enjoy Foot Galaxy, of course, don't even turn up for the video. No problem at all. It won't hurt my feelings much. Um, one of the most common questions, or two of the most common questions actually, we'll go through two of them before we get into the draft, in the comment section is number one, where did that Sergio Ramos came from? Um, during team of the year when that Sunday came and there was like all of the special packs I basically put FIFA points on this account to open the special packs to see if I could pull anything whilst I was streaming And that's where I packed the Sergio Ramos. I ended up changing my official coin total by about 50,000 coins So I owe the account 50,000 coins if that makes sense um, And I've got that Sergio Ramos, which is nothing to do with the draft of glory everything else that I got as well I'd sold I'd moved on uh, I've got rid of it and I just left that Sergio Ramos on the account um, in order to sell it at a later date for more money. So in terms of this official series, it doesn't mean anything. The other question that we get quite a lot, guys, is where is this series going? I don't know about you guys, I love playing the draft. Um, I love the fact that you build the same team every, no, different teams every time. I love the fact that you always do Syria. And, and, you, no, I'm kidding. It's always BBVA, I get it. I, like, I know it's always a similar, but I love the draft because I love knowing that I've played 101 games on this account. I haven't put a single penny into the account and I've got about, including the 50K that I should have back on it, about 250,000 coins. I love the fact that I've earned something just from grinding the draft only. So for me, the aim now is to generate as much coins as possible before team of the season so that we can either use those coins on packs or use them to enter even more drafts. We had to get more packs and, and so on. The problem is now it's really hard to profit from the draft. Player prices are so cheap. So unless you get super lucky in a pack, it's very difficult to profit. What we're going to do is, is we're going to start kind of paying attention a lot more to exactly how many coins we make per episode. I'm going to get a spreadsheet up. I'm going to go back through all my previous episodes and, and look at the profit and loss on an, a per episode basis so that you guys can really kind of grasp on what round I've gone out in, how much money I've made as to whether you're good enough to make money. Because if I make money in the second round or the third round a lot, maybe you guys might think, actually, I might give the draft a few shots and, and waste my coins on it just in case I can make profit. What's funny is when I get to the final, those big packs aren't usually worth it for me. Um, the 50K packs and the 100K packs, the 100K packs are always profitable because they discard for a minimum of about 14,500 coins. And uh, you're always going to get a player that sells for one or two K coins. So the, the 100K packs are always worth it. The 50K packs, however, aren't necessarily worth it. If you get literally 12 uh, discardable players, you only make 7,000, maybe 8,000 coins plus your match coins, you're going to be at a loss for the episode. The packs that you really want to get in the draft right now are packs that have a lot of items. So the mega packs, the 15k packs, as many 7.5k packs as you can get, the, the gold 13 pack, because the consumables at this stage in FIFA are worth more than about 98% of players that are in the game. That is including bronze and silver players, but they're you know, a hunter card is worth more than almost any player on the game. Um, so getting good packs isn't necessarily profitable, but getting big packs is. With that being said, let us get into the draft. We've already been going for four minutes on a live episode. Um, so I'm going to try and draft this quick. We're going to go with the 4-3-2-1, my favorite formation at the moment. I actually really love this formation. We're going to try and get ourselves the blue players. There we go. Oh my God. What kind of cat? I mean, there's four blues in there, but you know, only two of them are blue. I'm going to take the Messi because why the hell not? Um, and uh, we're going to go, I really want to get that 95 Suarez. I bought him on my main account, even though I haven't used him yet. I would like to use him. Right, what are we going to do here? Uh, I might go Bundes Bundesliga in case we get a Ribery. So put Muller up front there. Um, and then if we pull a Ribery here, although Ribery's not left forward, is he? So I don't know who that... Oh my God, it's giving us Neymar. It's giving us Purple Ronaldo. It's giving us Royce. Now, Royce works. Royce there with the German link. Muller gets perfect chem. I don't really anticipate using Muller much. 
Probably will pull the blue Ronaldo at some point, but I'd prefer the blue Neymar. So I reckon we go with Ronaldo here. Um, you guys are probably screaming at me to take Royce, but I reckon we go with Ronaldo. Um, and uh, that's how that's basically how we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna go again for a BBVA team, and I know you guys don't enjoy it so, so much, but uh, from you know from my perspective, um, when you're offered Messi and Ronaldo, the best you know the best version of Messi and a good version of Ronaldo, why wouldn't you take them? That's kind of just my thought process. Um, what are we going to do here? We're going to take... Uh, we're going to take Jordan Henderson because if we get Nathaniel Klein at right back and we don't get a BBVA player for midfield, uh, we'll be in much better shape. Now, I'm going to go with Guy here. I actually like Felipe Luis uh, in this game, but I'm going to go with Guy because I feel like he's a better defender in my opinion. Look at all these non-rares we are getting. Holy crap. That's three non-rares already in this team. Fortunately, they're all BBVA non-rares that are popping, so it really helps. And taking that Godin as well is gonna really help and hopefully getting like a Danny Alves blue. No, uh, we get, uh, oh, Gaspar or Martinez. <sighs> they're really identical other than pace. I'm gonna have to take Mario Gaspar and his, his card looks pretty damn decent. So all we need now, guys, is a striker, a goalkeeper and a midfielder from La Liga. Blah, blah, blah. Now, every time I pick a goalkeeper, you guys go mental at me for picking the wrong goalkeeper. And once again, th there's no right choice here. Um, other than pot potentially taking check, um, so that if we get a, you know, a Koscielny and then a, a Nathaniel Klein, everyone would get you know, the perfect chem. Um, so that, that would be quite good. But we get a Bartra there. We get Aaron Ramsey. We're gonna have to take Bartra. Have I got a center back? I've got, oh, well, I'm gonna take Bartra anyway, because he's a better center back. So that's kind of a, that's kind of a given. So Bartra goes in there instead of uh, the, the non-rare guy that we had. We get us a, ooh, Lewandowski. I might take him just because. Um, you know, he's 90 rated. He's better than Muller. We get the Neymar. There is the Nathaniel Klein. I'm I want to take Neymar. I'm going to have to take Klein. It just makes sense. Uh, it gives Jordan Henderson seven chemistry. It gives Nathaniel Klein the perfect chemistry. And like I said, if we can get ourselves a... Um, a BPL centre back like Koscielny specifically, uh, it would really fit. We're gonna take oh Gareth Bale. Yeah, I'm gonna take Gareth Bale. I don't mind playing Gareth Bale up, up there on uh, on weak chem. Um, that's not a problem for me. And hopefully we're gonna fill out the team perfectly through the bench anyway. Do we get a La Liga? Blah, 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 blah. We do not. I'm gonna take Muriel just for the pace. Don't anticipate on using him. Uh, but this is the important important few positions now. We need a goalkeeper that's gonna fit for us. And it's going to be De Gea, I think. We've got, we got one Spanish centre-back. We could actually put uh, El Estondo in there as well to give us a second Spanish centre-back. Um, so, if worst-case scenario, if we don't get a Koscielny, which is pretty much the only defender that makes it right, isn't it? Am I right or am I wrong? I think I might be wrong. DeMarcos there. We could take DeMarcos. We could put him in midfield if we needed to. Uh, play him off-chem. That's not a problem. Look at... I'm saying look at all these defenders we're getting. Of course we're getting defenders. I'm picking the defensive positions. That just doesn't make any sense. Scratch that from the record. Uh, we get a purple card. We get Herrera, Carrasco. I'm going to take Herrera. Last time I took Herrera in the last episode and I didn't use him. And if I did use him, it would have been a better team. Uh, I do read the comment sections. I do realize the mistakes I make. you got to remember, when I'm drafting for a video, I don't have time to sit there and analyze every position all the time um, just because of how, uh, you know, how the game is and the fact that I've, I've got to, like, kind of not rush through it, but get through it, if that makes any sense. So we get Conor Plianka there. Doesn't really help us, but we'll take him for that super sub position. And then last but not least, we are going to get ourselves Depay, Vitolo. I'm going to take Vitolo. Um, so we didn't get the we didn't get the defense that we needed. We're only on 83 chem right here. How come we're so low? Because we got Godin on four chem. I'm going to have to put Gaspar back in at right back. We're going to lose chem on that. But if I put Vitolo then in center midfielder, that puts us up to 91 chem. Why are we so low on chem here? Because Gareth Bale is not in the right chemistry. So if we put, man, imagine if I took that, uh, imagine if I put, took that, um, what's his face? Royce now. Royce would have been a, a good choice, uh, funnily enough. Um, because it's left forward and right forward for Messi and Ronaldo, the off position, um, I'm going to have to play Bale up front, unfortunately. Nothing else works. We're at 91 chem. What are we short on? Where, where is the chemistry short? So the goalkeeper, one centre-back. What about if we switch those around? And then, oh no, yeah, he's still on seven chem. So unless we, oh, if I'd have taken Felipe Luis, it would have been perfect. But I didn't, unfortunately. If I swap these two around, does it go up? No. If I swap these two around, does it go up? And if I swap these two around, does it go up? 
I was thinking because uh, Crondelli and uh, and Vitolo are from the same club, might have got a bit of bonus chemistry, but we don't. So we're losing chem on a few players. We're only at 91 chemistry. I'm sure there is a way to get more chemistry here. I just personally don't see it. For example, if we put Conor Plianka in there, yeah, see, Conor Plianka instead of Ronaldo. Ronaldo goes up there, still on 92 chemistry, and we've got Ronaldo at striker. I quite rate that, I quite rate that. Um, we'll take a manager anyway. Obviously, there's no uh, La Liga managers, which is just crazy by all stretch of the imagination. Uh, we could go Spanish, takes us up to 94. Portuguese takes us up to 94 because of the BPL manager as well, which is nice. Um, I'm going to go with Jose Marino so that Ronaldo at striker gets four chemistry. Now, it's only an 85 rated team at the moment after, uh, you know, after building the whole squad. Of course, we can still put the subs on the bench that are going to make a difference to us. Now, this team isn't too bad. The midfield is a bit weak. The defense is strong. De Gea on seven chem is perfect. Um, not perfect, but good enough. The attack is good. It's the midfield that's a problem, but Van der Vaart is pretty decent. He's got, you know, really low pace, but other than that, he's pretty good. Uh, you guys are probably telling me to put Herrera in the team like that, aren't you? And we lose six chem on Herrera because Messi gets lower chem. But that is probably a better player. I, I don't know if you guys would rather have Herrera on seven chem and Messi on six chem or put Van der Vaart in there and have him on low chem. Now, I don't necessarily believe chemistry is all that important in the game, but I do believe it is important in the game. Um, so it just depends how you guys kind of feel about it. Uh, obviously, it doesn't make any difference at the moment because you can't, you know, you can't help change anything for me. Uh, what if we swap those two around? Still on the same chem. Everyone gets good links here, actually. Everyone's on a minimum of seven chem. The team chem is a bit low. Vitolo, Herrera, and Crondelli is probably a better pairing uh, partnership than the other three that we had the options of. I could probably put Henderson um, in mid. Imagine if I took that Ramsey card and put Bale right mid. I made so many mistakes this draft, so many mistakes. I could have gone full BPL down the right hand side. Bale at right wing, Rambo and Rambo and Henderson in midfield, with uh, Klein at right back, and any BPL centre back that popped in in there with Czech or De Gea in net would have been so so much better. But we didn't do it, so um, I'm going to play the first game like this. If I win and the team feels poor, I'll change it up. If I win and it feels good, I'll leave it the same. And if I lose, then I live and die by the mistakes that I made. This is the team we're going to go with. Let's get into game number one. Okay, guys, our first opponent of the day has got a 100 chem five at the back team. He's got Di Maria, Aguero, Sanchez, Schweinsteiger, Henderson, Inform Boateng, Neuer, Ivanovic. I don't know who the centre-back is. He's got red-carded Mertesacker and Moreno. It's a nice team. There's a few holes in there, a few... Uh, you know, a few places I hope hopefully can uh, break down and beat up. But five at the back is going to be difficult. Let's see what we can do. All right, this guy's passing is decent. He's got into a bit of space with Hendo. That's a lovely tackle from Crondelli. Unable to keep the ball, though. Ah, that could have been a foul. He's got Schweini there. Oh, he's giving it back to Henderson. Oh, he's missed that. I don't know how he's missed that, but he has missed that. And this guy is decent. He's passing around really well. He broke the space down and it's going to be difficult for me to break down this five at the back team and even get any possession by looks of things. Oh, that's gone all the way through. That's going to be Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi, he's got a chance to shoot. He scores. That's what you get with the 99 Messi. Even when he's on low chem, that finish is beautiful. Lucky through ball, not going to deny that. This guy is a very good opponent as well. Put the through ball through there. Messi holds off the defender. Fantastic finish, and that's 1-0. This is a really good chance. Oh, that's a great tackle from Bartra. I tell you what, on the stroke half time, he could have had a pop. He decided not to shoot, and uh, I get a really good tackle in there. He's got an, another corner here on the stroke half time. There's the header. He's taken another deflection. It's going to be another corner. He's putting the pressure on, guys. And this, this guy I'm playing against, he's good. I'm not going to, you know, I'm, I know I'm winning 1-0. He's a good player. He passes the ball really well. That should be a goal kick. And that's going to be half time. So we're going to the half at 1-0. I wouldn't be surprised if the match stats were heavily in his favor. I feel like he's been putting a lot of pressure on me. He's had a lot of chances, a lot of corners. I've dealt with it quite well. Um, my defense feels okay. It's just in the attack that I'm having the problems. Apparently, I've had one zero shots and one goal. He's had more possession because he passes the ball a lot. It's not always necessarily in dominant areas. If you have a look there, most of it is in the midfield area. 
Um, he's having a lot of like shots, but they're more like weak shots. He's only had one clear cut opportunity. I don't know how my shot wasn't registered. I hit it with Messi. I definitely shot it. You guys saw it. It was a shot. It was a goal. My passing's pretty bad. I'm going to make some changes here at the half, actually, just to strengthen up that midfield. I'm going to take off Vitolo because he's got that yellow card. I'm going to bring on Gareth Bale for him in there. I'm actually going to take off Conor Plianka as well. Ronaldo's not doing much on that striker position. I want to bring on a true striker. So we bring on Lewandowski there. Um, wait, those subs didn't even make, did they? No, they didn't. So we'll bring off Vitolo for uh, for Bale once more. We'll bring on Lewandowski for Conor Plianka. We'll put Ronaldo out on the wing, Lewandowski up front. And then we'll save one sub like a DeMarcos or a Henderson or a Muller for if this goes to extra time. Because this guy's got a good chance of scoring. He's got a good chance to get back into this game. I just need to be very good with the ball. Stop giving up easy possession and try and pass around his defence. Hopefully we can do that. Let's get into the second half. All right, Messi to Herrera. Herrera to Gaspar. Don't want to bring Gaspar up, really. This guy's already got quite a bit of uh, space in the mid spot. Messi loses out. Still got the ball. This is lovely plays. Here is Herrera. Into Ronaldo. Ronaldo still got it. Ronaldo still got it. That's really lucky. That is really, really lucky. I don't know how I got the ball back in the box there. Uh, he put in one tackle, he put in two tackles, he put in three tackles. Those are the goals that I hate conceding when you tackle a player over and over and over and it falls to him. This time I'm on the scoring side of it. Very happy with it. Moving Ronaldo has proved effective instantly and we're 2-0 up. That's a great through ball. Aguero's going to score here. Oh my God. What a save from David De Gea. It was a great choice putting him in back of the net. Picking him and uh, getting him into the team has proven very, very successful for us. Ronaldo here can get it out. Messi loses out the ball again. This guy's going to end up scoring a banger, isn't he? After De Gea's made some crazy good saves. Look, I knew it. I just knew it. After De Gea made great save after great save from the strikers, of course it's going to be a centre-back with a near-post shot that just flies into the back of the net. Of course it's going to be that. It couldn't be anything other. Oh, go Dean. That's a huge tackle. That is an absolutely huge tackle. We've got the runner there in Lewandowski. He's clean through. The defender, can he catch him? Oh, Boateng's having a great game for this guy. His five at the back is proving very fruitful for him. He's given the ball away in a dangerous spot. We've got Messi in the space. Lionel, foul ref. Yes, give me a card there as well, ref. I want to see some bookings here. I want to see some bookings. He's not given a booking. I could have taken that with Messi, gone for the pass, laid it off, had the shot. Lionel Messi, it's 3-1, it's game over. And that all comes from a lovely bit of play through the midfield. He gave the ball up needlessly in the, in the park. He was rushing, he was getting nervous. Gives the ball up in midfield. Easy free kick. And even though this Messi's not on full chem, he's scored two absolute bangers for us this game. Uh, ref blows for full time. So 3-1 victory there, guys, in a really tough game. That was a really good opponent. Um, I, I, he probably feels aggrieved, but... Although he had a lot of possession and more chances, for sure. Crondelli with a man of the match performance, and I felt like he was a man of the match as well. Although he probably had more possession and more chances, as you'll see by the end here. I brought the possession back a lot. Um, he didn't have dangerous possession. He had like one or two really good chances, which, he, uh, which De Gea saved. He had that one shot from Boateng. Other than that, like the game was relatively even in, in terms of how it panned out. He just held the ball a bit better than me. Um, I put in a lot more tackles. And, and I want to actually go back and have a look at uh, the player ratings and, and look at how much Kron Deli did there. So uh, I want to see his uh, passes. So 15 out of 15 passes, 7 out of 8 dribbles, and 4 out of 6 tackles won. That is absolutely phenomenal stuff. Kron Deli, he lost 7 fitness, Herrera 8 fitness. Uh, we don't get to see this guy's... Um, this guy's fitness, unfortunately. But that's the end of game one, guys. Let's get into game two. Okay, guys, game number two. We're into the quarterfinals. We've come up against a 93 Chem 4-3-2-1 team. He's got a Barbo, Aguero, Sanchez, Guarín, um, Pjanic, uh, Balassi in form, Torre, Valdez, Otamendi, Gulam, and Dabushi. An interesting team, if ever I've seen one. Not the sort of players that I would pick. I think he's picked a few uh, duds there, but this is probably the sort of team that's going to end up smashing me, isn't it? Let's see if we can win the second round and see ourselves into a semi-final. Gaspar, lovely, lovely defensive work, but really poor, really poor pass out. He's got Ibarbo through here, clean through. That's an interesting goal. Uh, not what I would have done. I would have actually hit that near post right there with Ibarbo, but he, he chipped through, balled it in the box for Sanchez, who was there for an easy header. And that comes from me giving away stupid possession in a position I really shouldn't have done. Um, he, he got through the defence there. Interesting chip through. I never would have thought to do that. And, and it was a nice goal. Oh, it was to Aguero as well, not even to Sanchez. Interesting. 
Crondelli's Crondelli was in space, but the ball's been given away. Oh, he's clean through. I, I'm never going to catch him. This is going to be 2 0. Wow. Wow. I don't know why he just didn't shoot. He's going to score here again anyway. That's frustrating. I don't know why he didn't shoot. He, he could have just shot and scored. For some reason, he tried to sweat it. He got lucky to get the ball back, and he's 2 0 up after we should have equalized. Really frustrating. We're definitely not out of this game. It's only nine minutes in. Nine minutes, and I've conceded two goals. That's really annoying. Um, but I've got a hell of a task on now. That's a great tackle, guy. Oh, it's falling back to him again. And again, guy, please. There we go. There we go. Right, we've got Ronaldo over in some space. Vitola's passed just so bad. Nice, Ronaldo. Let's go. He's got Messi clean through. Oh, I got really lucky there. Oh, I got really lucky there as well. Messi, please. That's a great finish. And again, this Messi on six chem is proving unbelievable. He scored two great goals in the first game. He's put us back in the game in this game. I feel like I deserve to get a goal back there. I got really lucky with a couple of the deflections, fell Messi's way. Boys keeper out, interestingly. We're going to have to remember that going forwards and see if we can get a few long shots off with this Messi and Ronaldo and pull ourselves right back into the game. I kind of like, every, every time he gets the ball now, I kind of don't expect him to shoot. Just because he just wants to pass it all the time. He wants to pass it unnecessarily. We've got the run on there with Ronaldo. Ronaldo's going to give Conor Plianka the chance to get inside here. conor has got a bit of space. Ronaldo running back post. Oh, it's going to fall to Messi. That's a lovely goal. The triple tap cross works. Messi was in the right place at the right time. I aimed that down to Ronaldo. It fell to Messi. feel very happy we got back into this game. This game could have fallen apart at 2-0 down, but we pulled it straight back. Lovely ball into Messi. Messi on 99 Messi on 6 chem has proven to be a magnificent player, scoring four goals in one game of 30 minutes. This guy's pausing. He's probably going to make some changes now. Um, I probably should make some changes myself. Although Crondelli got man of the match in the last match and, and played really well, he's kind of getting overrun a little bit here due to the pace. Um, so we're going to bring him off. We're going to bring... Uh, I'm, I'm tempted to bring Henderson on for a little while. Um, put him next to uh, put him next to Herrera there, just to shore out that midfield a bit. I don't really want to waste Bale as a sub until later on in the game when his legs are tired. So we're going to uh, bring Henderson on in that midfield for Crondelli and see what we can do. Uh, see if we can get ahead before half time. Oh my God, where where is my defence? He's got the chip through ball again. I'm not, yeah, I'm not falling for it a second time. I fall for it once. I'm not falling for it again. Oh my God, he's got so luck. That's two of his goals have come from me defending it perfectly and the ball just falling to his attacker. Absolutely devastating, that is. I don't feel like he deserves that. We probably should have been 3-2 up before that even came. Uh, again, defended. I, def I, saw, I saw the play that he was going to give. I saw it coming. I saw the chip through ball. I defended it perfectly. It just falls perfectly to Guarin on the edge of the box, and uh, this guy goes 3-2 up. And now my defense is falling apart again. I seem, to, I seem to like collapse always at the same time. Like I'll concede one and then I'll concede another one straight after and then another one straight after. We've got to get back into this game though. We've got Lionel Messi on the break. He's got Ronaldo on the inside. Ronaldo with a lovely little ball roll. We've got Conor Plianka has gone through. Conor Plianka has beaten him. Conor Plianka, surely that is a lovely, lovely goal. It's 3-3. We're back in the game before half time. Quick passing against this guy seems to work. Carved him open. Conor Plianka with a lovely bit of strength here. And I actually really rate that finish as well. Just very calm, very casual. Slips it past uh, Valdez. 3-3. Three, three. That's a lovely work from Bartra. Oh, Messi's through. This has got to be the hat trick. There it is. That 99 Messi. It, when it matters, he doesn't miss. When it's an open goal, he'll miss. When there's an important chance, when he's going to put us in the lead, he, he won't miss. This guy bites a lot. You saw how I picked him apart there. Conor Plianka just waits and waits and waits. He bites with a defender. Messi's clean through on goal with 4-3 up. That's five goals now for Messi in a game and a half. Oh, I've read that. Ronaldo. Oh, Ronaldo's clean through. Oh, Ronaldo's not going to get caught from Colo here. We've got some space and some pace. The cutback is on. Cutback is there. Conor Plianka scores. It's 5-3. And we give this guy a little taste of his own medicine. The cutback of dreams there. The keeper almost gets it. Valdez stretches, but just miss it. Conor Plianka scores. 5-3. And we are hopefully going through to the semi-finals. Just bang that out to Conor Plianka. He's in loads of space. He's not going to win the header, unfortunately. I'm going to win that header, though. That's for damn sure. Henderson, lovely stuff from Hendo. He's played a great ball through to Conor Plianka. Conor Plianka's got some space and some pace. He's got Ronaldo breaking into the box. He's got a little bit of space here. He's going to expect the cutback. There is the cutback. 
There is the cutback, there is the shot, there is the goal. And as I said, give this guy a bit of a taste of his own medicine. Usually I don't do that, and there's no need for it. Could have shot with Conor Plianka, could have scored with Conor Plianka. Laid it off to Messi, four goals in the game. Lovely spin inside the box from Conor. Sees Messi there, bang, the Messiah makes it 6-3. Jordan Henderson has been amazing. Can't deny it. He's passed it again. He's scored there. 6-4, game on, no need to pass it. <laughs> he literally had already beaten the keeper and could have just tapped it in with Sanchez, but he laid it off. I don't understand. I don't understand this guy's mentality. Nice work from Vitolo. Bit of space. He's got Henderson on the inside. Henderson sees the keeper. Oh, my God. What a finish that was. And bringing on Jordan Henderson at half-time was a brilliant decision. He has broken up the play. It wasn't even half time. I think it was 30 minutes. He's broken up the play well. He's passed the ball well. He's got in on goal a couple of times and he scores an absolute peach of a chip over the keeper. Okay, the guy brought the keeper out, but that is just a beautiful finish. Jordan Henson, clean through on goal. Keeper comes off his line. One touch, bang, over the keeper. In the back of the net, 7-4. And that, guys, is full time. So we win 7-4 in the second round in an absolute goal fest. We move on to the semi-final. So I've already made decent progress, much better than the last episode. Um, Messi and Conor Plank had great games. Goals from Messi, two from Conor, one from Henderson. The assists come from Conor as well. Holy shit, he had a great game. Two goals and three assists. Uh, we go back to the tackles one again. Diego Godin was huge for us there in quite a lot of the... Uh, Quite a lot of the defensive players and Henderson, he came on as a late sub. He made almost as many passes as all the other midfielders, which is brilliant. So we go through to the semi-finals, guys. Let's get into game number three. Okay, guys, because of how good Henderson played in that game, I felt like changing the team a bit. I actually get one more chemistry than what the team I had before. I put Herrera in centre midfield, Vitolo and Henderson as the other three midfielders. Messi still gets that six chem. Um, Conor Plianka still gets nine chem. Henderson goes up to 10 chem. Nathaniel Klein at right back on 10 chem. Both centre backs on, uh, on seven chem. Um, or we could put Godin there on four chem, which obviously I don't really want to do. The only other thing I could do is put on this Spanish guy here and we'd go up to 89 chem. But I don't think that would be beneficial because Godin is just so, so good. Um, so I'd rather keep it like that, keep them both on seven chem. Really, really happy uh, with how the team's playing. We've played around with the team every game so far. Actually, uh, the first game I had Crondelli out on the left side of the midfield. The second game I put him in the center of midfield. Um, this time around, we changed the team again. Let's get into the semi-final and see if we can make our way through to a final. Okay, guys, into the semi-final we go. We come up against a 100 chem, 87 rated team. He's got Blue Messi, Inform Griezmann, Inform Ronaldo, Inform uh, Bruno, I think that is, Inform Moutinho, Inform Thiago Silva, Inform Maxwell, Blue Danny Alves, Pastore Mascherano, and Alves in goal. That is an amazing team. This is going to be a very difficult game. Let's go. It's a beautiful play. Oh, it's falling back to Ronaldo. That is a great finish. So, so lucky on my behalf there, guys. Took the I actually tried to pass it with Ronaldo into Messi. Hits the defender, falls back to Ronaldo. He takes a touch, takes a shot. Beautiful finish into the, the top bins. And we're 1-0. I love that as well. Oh, my God. Who is that? Conor Plianka. Let's have a bash. Oh, my God. What a goal. What a strike that was. I saw the keeper come off his line a little bit. And I thought, let me just have a pop shot, see if it goes in. And Conor Plianka hits him with an absolute banger of a goal. That, I, I want to see that again. I can't wait to see that again. Sees the runner, Conor Plianka, feeds the ball through perfectly. He takes a touch, sees the keeper off. Oh, that's a stunning strike. That is a stunning strike, and we're 2-0. It's a great ball. That's a double great ball. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, he's turned a defender. He's turned him again. He's turned him again. This can't be. This can't be. Oh, my God. Who's playing? Is this me? Is this my controller? Who the fuck is doing this? What a goal from Ronaldo. He destroys the defense, flips them inside and out, backwards and forwards. And then a stunning finish to put past the keeper. Puts us 3 it up. Man, th this guy's good as well, right? He, he, he's very skilled on the ball. He's just really predictable. But I have scored some really nice goals here. Look at that. Ronaldo with some skill, some style. Ev evades the last defender. Beautiful finish. 3-0. Got a bit of space here. Javier Pastore. That's a lovely goal. I gave him way too much space there. Lovely passing from this guy. As I said, when I was scoring that third goal, 
Well, this guy's decent. You know, he evades the tackle there really nice. I backed off expecting the pass. He saw the space. He has a shot. 3-1. That's foul ref. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's four. I wondered if he was offside. He wasn't. Lionel Messi scores for the third consecutive game. And that goes 4-1. Lovely quick free kick. Couple of quick passes. In behind there. Look at that lovely bit of a... Uh, just gets past the defender there. Passes it back through. Lionel Messi. Bang. 4-1. Oh, Messi. Oh, Messi. Oh, Messi. Don't do it to him. Oh, Messi. Don't do it to him. Oh, Lionel Messi. Oh, that's a great save. Messi again. Oh, it's five. And again, I tell you what, guys. I have been lucky in this draft. In game one, in game two, and now in game three. With rebounds and tackles falling to me over and over again. And you know what I think? I wonder if it's because I've got low chemistry. I wonder if I'm getting these bounces because the low chem favours me. I don't, I don't want to believe that sort of shit. I really don't want to believe that sort of true. Look at that. Keeper makes a great save. Falls to his defender. Back to Messi. 5-1. Game over. Let's go Herrera. Have a pop. Oh, he's hit the bar. He has hit the bar. That's probably going to be full-time. Go, Dean. Have a smack, son. Oh, my God. It's gone over the bar. That's probably going to be close to full-time, if not full-time, guys. We're 5-2 up. It's been a comfortable game, really. Uh, up until 4-1, I would have said. It was, it was quite a tough game. Um, once that fifth goal went in, this guy lost the plot. He started sliding all over the place. He wasn't really trying. He wasn't giving it his all. And uh, we're into the final, which is massive for us, especially after going out in the first round in yesterday's episode. Very happy with that. We get 800 coins for winning the game. Absolutely dominated the game. I will see you guys in the final. Okay, guys, into the final we go. We come up against a 110 chem, 86 rated team. My God, he's got the 89 Bale, the blue Ronaldo, the blue Marcelo, the 91 Suarez, an insane midfield, an insane defense. That is like a perfect draft team. Um, I have a feeling this is going to be a tough game. Let's go. Oh, look at a the run there from Herrera. He's got Messi. Messi with a finesse. Oh, man, that was such a great opportunity. It's a nice goal. It's, it's a goal that I gave him. I, I Stupid pass in midfield to give up possession and he just hit me on the counter. That's a lovely ball. Herrera, please. Oh my God. I could have taken a touch. I could have taken 10 touches. That was crazy. Let's go then, Connor. Oh, that's nice. We've got a load of space to run into here. Connor Plianka. Oh my God, what a save. Messi, please. I can't believe he's missed that. I literally cannot believe he has missed that. I barely put any power on it. All right, guys, half time in the final. We find ourselves 1 0 down, but by no means out of this game. I've had the better of the chances. This guy's had one shot and scored from it from my own stupidity. His passing is bad, his possession's okay. I've literally had four killer opportunities and I haven't scored. Messi with the biggest chance of all the good things he's done this whole tournament. He gets into the easiest chance of the entire tournament and he puts it on the bar. We've got 45 minutes to go. Let's get back into this game. Foul, ref. Ref is just pushing me over and over again off the ball. Oh, now he's hit me on the counter again. This is crazy. I can't defend from here. Oh man, I knew he would score that. I knew he would score that. There's got to be a foul right there. It's going to be three. Never going to stop this one from going in. Oh, man. That's so frustrating. Honestly. It's just chip through balls and that's it. Oh, man. Oh, man. I, I just don't deserve to concede these goals. I, I, like, I just don't deserve to concede them. I just can't get a goal back. All right, there's one back, guys. We've got 20 minutes left. I don't think there's enough time, but I'll still give it my best shot. Okay, there's definitely not enough time now. He's literally just kicked off. Run down the wing and cut it inside. It's so simple. I tried so hard to tackle him. Tried so hard to tackle him. 
Oh man, I honestly, I just, I, nothing is running for me in this game. Absolutely nothing. Of course, in the 90th minute is where the goal comes. I, I kind of expect it in FIFA. I, like, I've just had so many opportunities this game to put the ball in the back of the net and I've missed one after the other after the other. And then when it doesn't matter because it's too late is when the ball finds its way into the back of the net. No problem at all. Muller with the goal. Lovely stop and lo lovely cutback. Great finish, but it's too late, I'm afraid. And that, guys, is a full-time whistle. We passed it around his defence for the last few minutes of the game. I don't blame the guy. Like He, he did what he needed to do to win. Uh, you know, he, he saw that I was uh, attacking. He went defensive. He played counter-attack. And he scored the goals that he needed to win the game. I feel just really unjustified in, in losing the game like that, uh, especially considering... I felt like I was the better player, um, although when do you not feel like you're the better player in FIFA? I mean, look, the chances were even, my passing was better, uh, possession was even, it's, it's just, I just couldn't hit the back of the net. I just couldn't hit the back of the net, and this guy did very well with when he had his, his chances. You know, nine shots, seven, seven on target, five goals. For me, 12 shots, seven on target, and only the two goals. He deserves his win thoroughly. Let's go and see what packs we get. All right, guys, so there you have it. I mean, we conceded a lot of goals throughout the whole tournament. One, four, two, and five. We end up conceding, what's that, 12 goals throughout the whole tournament. On average, three goals a game, which is really bad. Um, this this team was a bit of a mismatch. The fact I actually got to the final with the team is uh, is really good. I, you know, I'm, 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 I guess I'm happy with the fact we got to the final. Um, I'm not really happy with the two packs that we got. I would have much rather a 35k pack and a 5k pack or something than a... This, this pack is bad. It's a gold players pack. You only get one rare, and that rare could be silver. And you get a premium gold players pack, which is with three rares, and, and those rares, two of them could be silver. This is probably the worst prize I would have wanted. I genuinely would have preferred... What's this? This is about 45k's worth of packs. I would have preferred 45k's worth of 5k packs, genuinely, just because of the discard value of the items, uh, which is what we spoke about at the start. But before we get too disheartened, we haven't opened them yet there could be something amazing in them. So we'll start with the gold players pack and we'll see what we get. Who knows if we get lucky or not. There's a really good team of the week in packs. Can we hit an inform? We can't. We get Stambouli as our best player there and it's 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 bad pack, isn't it? It's a bad pack. Um, Virginia, 75 rated is our best player. It's all discardable. So we made 3,700 coins off of that pack. And then off the best pack that we get as the prize for losing the final, what do we get in it? Come on, EA, hook us up, don't hook us down. We get Hernanez. It's not bad. He doesn't go for anything, which is a shame. And this is what I was saying. This is why I hate these packs. Because not only do we get two silvers, one of them is rare. Um, which means one of our rares is wasted. We'll send Olsen to the trade bowl. He might sell. Um, Hernanez might go for like 900 coins instead of discard price. But we're going to have to discard the rest. We get 3,000 coins from this pack. Uh, plus the other two cards. So we end up making about 8,000 coins off of our packs. About 2,000 coins, maybe 2,500 coins of our gameplay. We end up losing about three to 4,000 coins on this draft run. And that's making it to the final, um, which is crazy. Fair play to my opponent. Um, you know, as frustrating as that loss was, he did what he had to do. Just like in the games before, even though I won them, there was a couple of those games where I wasn't necessarily playing crazy good, but I got a lot of bounces going my way. And that's FIFA for you. And that's why I try to stay calm, even though it does frustrate me when those things go against me, because... For every time they go against me, they also go for me. And, and I try and remember that, that this is just a video game. The bounces happen for me, they happen against me, and it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Um, I'm glad we got to the final. I don't know if I'm going to do another Draft of Glory tomorrow or not. If you want to see another Draft of Glory, smash the like button on this episode. If, we, if this gets, say, 12k, 13k likes before I go to bed, I'll record another episode of Draft of Glory for tomorrow um, if you guys want to see it. I'm enjoying playing the draft right now. I'm enjoying the grind of trying to make coins and not being successful. Uh, because that one time, the next time that we get a pack that has something amazing in it, I'm going to be so happy. But anyway, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.